it, it's always been in me that I want to be an artist. Because I thought that, that that's what I could do best. I can't just run away from it. This is my thing, this is my place. This is where I can't be anywhere else. I can't do anything better than I can do art. I could say I'm a contemporary artist. It's, a, it's, it's sort of a, sometimes it's a vague word, but uh, <laughs> it means that uh, art that is being done right now. But then there, there, there's some other, you know, some other additions, some other connotations, some other uh, spices that come with, with the words. After looking around, I, you know, I, I, I picked up the jeans. I got an idea I could sew them up and make them as canvas. There are a lot of influences in my work. To start with, I was uh, influenced by you know, Jean-Michel Basquiat's work. But then o over the time, you know, my influence has been, uh, been changing and growing. I've always been interested in pop culture, so pop culture has always been part of my work. The imagery, the, you know, the ideas, the celebrity and what, and all that kind of thing, the clothing. So, but then when I, I, I grew up, I got introduced to you know, African history, you know, Pan-Africanism, and it's also, you know, turning up in my work. So uh, these days I'm more interested in exploring my identity as a, as a Muganda, as a young Muganda man. I get to realize that there is, there's something much more, more serious, much more grounded, much more uh, heavy at the back, in my backyard, in my background, and that's our traditional culture. In my work, I, I usually use uh, three major materials. That's denim, uh, the back cloth, and the kitenge. Some people call it the dashwork print. These materials, in a way, you know, they form layers uh, of meaning, of course, and, and of beauty as well. The denim, to start with, can uh, represents the Western, you know, culture that is always looming around Africans, and the back cloth is like the original identity of Africans, or me as a Muganda. Then the third product is uh, the Kitenge, the dashwork springs. So I use that in a way to, to, to form sort of a, a contested identity of, of Africans. You know, it's not really an African product. It's, uh, it was originally made in Dutch, and then it was, they tried to sell it in Indonesia, they failed, but then they brought it to Africa. And, and it caught on. So I, I, I start by, you know, I, I buy the denim from Owino, and I come here, I come to my studio, I cut them up, spread them out, and I make sheets. After I cut them and I sew them together. After sewing them together, I, I mount them on the, on the frame, on the stretcher, stretcher bar. That's when I start sketching, I could sketch, and then after sketching, uh, that's when I, I, I could uh, put on the other fabrics, back cloth, sometimes the denim, and then the, the, the kitenge, uh, sticking them actually on with the wood glue. And then I, 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 I put them off and I sew them, and then I put them back. Sometimes it could, it's, it could be two or three times of you know the back and forth. The last part could be dealing with the background, you know, drawing and using oil pastels to, you know, put some highlights and everything, all that kind of sort of thing. At Motive, I had a, a pop-up show that was just for a week. The body of work is about, uh, I, call, I call it in a blue world, by pushing all these identity issues surrounding us as Africans, as me, uh, the onset of colonialism, so, I know, these deeper things. This body of work uh, is about Matt Kaim's exploration of what it means for us to change culturally. For this work, he paints on denim and then he collages it with bark cloth and kitenge. All these materials have uh, a lot of history embedded with them. And so uh, he crafts them to form these symbols that converse with you. So he merges this Western sort of a disposition we are in as far as culture is concerned. It's sort of like he's questioning the process of assimilation as you assimilate, what parts do you prioritize and what parts do you drop? And or can, can they exist at the same time, coexist together in some sort of uh, synergy? So, some people think it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's rosy to be an artist. 
it's, I mean, it's people just you know doing what they like. But uh, at the end of the day, we also it can be a job, it, like a regular job. People need to see us see it as a regular job that uh, that we chose a career that uh, we, we can't. Uh, you know, a path that we, we can't, we, we couldn't just ward off and say, uh, let's, let's do uh, normal stuff.